Metformin associated lactic acidosis is a rare but real and true critical care emergency. The diagnosis hinges on three things known metformin use, a pH of less than 7.35 with a lactate greater than 5 millimoles per liter, and importantly, a high anion gap metabolic acidosis. Management starts with stopping metformin and providing supportive care. Heavy bicarbonate should be provided if the pH is less than 7.2. We should manage shock with vasopressors, which, of course, I recommend checking out the vasopressor and Bionotropan book. And one should consider VA ECMO for refractory cardiovascular collapse. But here's a key part. When to start dialysis? This paper suggests to go for it if the pH is less than 7.0, the lactate is greater than 20 millimoles per liter, or if there's circulatory failure or altered consciousness. Dialysis should be stopped when the lactate is less than 3, the pH normalizes, and there's no rebound acidosis. Bottom line is that we need to diagnose this quickly, provide aggressive support, and timely renal replacement therapy. Hat tip to the authors, what's your threshold for pulling the trigger on dialysis in these cases?